I'm going to demonstrate to you two different techniques. One, we call it uh, old school techniques. And the uh, second one, uh, like strobo, okay? Uh, you will tell me which one is better. And uh, then we, we're going to talk about it, all right? So number one, old school. Number two, strobo. So you can see right now, number one, is it predictable? So you probably seen my movement. You can predict where am I, right? You can say, ah, oh, he's right there. He's down, he's in the middle of somewhere, right? The second one, the strobo. So the basic movement in this is strobo, move, strobo, move. And you actually move with your hand. We will uh, teach you this one later, how to do it. But I was just moving and just click like half second, half second, half second, okay? And I was slicing the pie. And I can even just come inside um, between you guys and you don't know about me. So do you understand the concept? So we never ever keep light on all the time. You just blink off, blink off, all right? Always remember the darkness is your friend and light is your enemy. So as you can see now, there is ambient light, you know, the backlight. And just came from, I don't know, from the garden to the basement. You want to search the basement and there's a doorway and there's, of course, there's a backlight from the garden. And if you just continue like this and you're gonna just use your uh, flashlight as we explained, then it, it, won't, it won't work because, you know, you are visible, you know, your shadows and you get a back line. So remember all the time, when you can, you just close the door. When you can, close the door, all right? But sometimes, you just can't. Okay, sometimes you can't. So in this case, you have to make much more light in there, inside, where, where the enemy is, and uh, so you can continue, all right? So let's say, this door cannot be open, uh, cannot be closed, so I have to continue. So I'll just strobo much faster, much stronger, and it will work. Okay. So do you understand the concept? So in case you can close the door, or you can switch off the light and make sure the darkness is behind you. There's no backlight. It's it's perfect for you. If it's not possible, just leave it like that. Just make sure you just click, 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 click more frequently, okay? Just make more light right there than right there. Let's say you are lucky and you just can close it or there is no ambient light, so there's only darkness. So it's friend for you again, so you can just go very smoothly and silently through the corridor, okay? What you're gonna do, you just click the light on, all right, for half second. Just make sure you can see everything, you can see the way, you can see the doorways or whatever you wanna just check and you move. Let's say three steps, click on, three steps, click on, three steps, whatever like this, right? So I'll demonstrate so you can understand how it, how it works, right? So now, now you do understand what is this all about. So we just don't use the light all the time. We just click off, click off, click off, 
All right? So now we can see the differences between those. Let's compare the previous technique with this one, the old school one. So you can compare it right now, how it works. So I probably don't need to even comment it. You really understand which one is better, right? Somebody can argue why we just use our system, you know, just to click on, on, on like that. So if we have a strobo on a light, so I will demonstrate to you how it works with a strobo, you know, with a strobo mode. So this is the strobo mode. As I'm moving, you can see where is my position. So I am actually not masking myself, you know, my position. So this is the difference. Another thing which is very, very important, and you can make very serious mistake here. So when you just open the door and you're gonna slice the pie, for example, and you're gonna uh, find somebody there, like you know, some suspect, and there's a there's a wall, for example, white wall or whatever, and you you're let's say not so accurate with the light, and you just don't put it in. So you just don't, don't, don't use the light like this, but you actually do that, all right? So you can see if I, if I uh, use the light wrong way, and I just put it on the, uh, on the wall, so I'm just very exposed. So this is, this is the proper one, this is the bad one. So you can see the differences. So this can be a very big mistake for you, and you can die for this. Right, so make sure all the time when you do the strobing like we show you. So make sure you do it here. You can see the difference. Right? Same thing, it works here. So for example, you are in the room, you're gonna go to the corridor, or this is the room, and you do something you know wrong and you just you just light the uh, light the door frame. So we can see now the difference, alright? So when I light the door frame, I can, you know, I'm exposed. I, I'm target, all right? So I just do some mistake, bam, wrong. If I do this, that's all right. right. So which one is better? Okay. So always make sure that you do proper lighting, proper uh, directions. Make sure you never uh, bound the light against the wall, right? One more technique, what we're gonna uh, teach you a little bit later, we call it slide by, that means just move from left to right side or right to left, whatever. So uh, it can be done in the darkness, but I'm gonna demonstrate it works, okay? So don't worry, it doesn't work, it will work for, for everybody. So I will demonstrate now how it works. So I am on the left side of the door, okay? I'm just strobing, okay? I'm just moving, I'm now on the right side. Strobing again. So as you can see, my movement was invisible, all right? So I could move from left to right or from right to left. One second and there's no chance for bad guy to hit me. So we can really use this one. Last technique, what we're gonna demonstrate is a quick peek, that means I'm gonna just check the corners for you. So let's say this is the corner, I'm gonna check it. And uh, so I can do it again, just in the darkness. I cannot do it in the normal light. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just preparing myself, check the, uh, check the corner and come back. So I'll demonstrate how it works in the low light conditions, right? So this is it. So I could see you, and you can see me. Just seeing my uh, light, and that's it. I was there half second.